Well, joining me now is Greg Newbold. He's the Emeritus Professor of Criminology at the University of Canterbury. Uh, Greg, what's going, out on, uh, going on out there? What do you make of those numbers that 68% of Kiwis uh, think the government's too soft on crime? Oh, well, it doesn't really mean anything. They'll always say that. Um, you know, they'll say, you know, is the road toll too high? It wouldn't be, they wouldn't even know what the road toll was, but everyone will say, yes, it's too high. Um, and it's quite a, a, a common response to, is the government too soft? Or do we need to get tougher on crime? Yes, yes, yes. Do we need to crush the gangs? Yes, we need to crush the gangs. You know, people are basically pretty uninformed about these things and are uh, influenced by, uh, by sensationalist media. So public opinion doesn't really mean a hell of a lot in these things, except in election year. Yes, exactly. But, Greg, are we too soft on crime in this country? I thought that we locked quite a few people up. Well, we do a lot. We have got a lot of people in prison. We've got um, you know, nearly 10,000. It's, it's actually dropped back a bit lately. But um, the uh, I, I think I, I look at some of the decisions by the courts and... And I agree that the courts are too soft on crime, but that's not a political issue. That's a matter for the for the courts. Mm. The um, politicians don't have any say on on the um, the sentences of judges, so it's it's not really something you can do anything about. I'm going to talk about. And on other occasions, you know, the the, the legislation has been passed since 1985, which has got tougher and tougher and tougher on violent crime in particular. So. Um, uh, yeah, but, you know, when people say oh, the, the, the government's too soft on crime, well, A, are probably pretty uninformed about what the, um, what the government does, and secondly, they probably don't know what the legislation says e either. So you've got a fairly uninformed and impressionistic public making comments in these cases. Well, Greg, how do you think um, we police these kids? I'm talking about the RAM raids here. Um, how do you police them? Because they are young, aren't they? They're largely operating outside the criminal justice system. You can't arrest a yeah. seven-year-old. Yeah, yeah, well, if they're under 17, they can't be prosecuted other, other than for indictable offences. So, um, the and some of them uh, are even even younger, they, uh, ch you know, children in the ages of seven to eight. So there's not a hell of a lot that can be done um, in, in the short term. In the long term, what needs to be done is the families of these kids need to be, look, need to be looked at. You know, I mean, what sort of a family has a child out on the streets at, at the age of seven or eight or 10 or whatever um, at three in the morning and on a weekday? Mm. The, you've got to ask questions about the families that these kids come from. And then if you start trying to interfere in family business, then you come into all sorts of conflict as, um, as has happened in the past. So it's, it's a difficult situation. Yeah, it's for, a real... For, for government and for the police. It is a real minefield. There's social and cultural issues there too. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Greg Newbold. Thank you.